Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to add a new product template on your NAPCOMER site. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.3. So in NAPCOMERS, template refers to the layout of a page, whether it is for a product category page, manufacturer page, topic page, or product page. In this tutorial, we will focus on product templates. So here's an example of a product template. If I pick this product, in this page layout or template, all the elements have been defined. Where this image should be displayed, how the title should look like, what should be the font size, for instance, where your style is defined, how the short description looks like, where should be the add to cart button, how the price is displayed, all the other options, basically, like additional images, the long description of the product, product specifications, etc. By default, NAPCOMMERCE offers two product templates. Simple product, this is an example of a simple product template, what we are looking at right now. And another is group products. So let's take an example of that as well. Go to electronics, camera and photo, and if I pick this product, so you can see this page looks a little bit different than the simple product template because this is using a group product template which is a product with a different number of product variants. You can see all the different variants are displayed at the bottom. So if you would like to make some customization to the template while keeping the default options, you can do that by adding a new product template. So let's jump into the configuration process and see how we can add a new product template in NavCommerce. So let me open the Visual Studio for this example. And one thing to remember, for this change while adding the new product template, you need access to the code files, not necessarily the full source code. As long as you have access to the code file, also known as no source code, that should be enough. So what I'm doing here is, within the NAV web, basically also known as web version. So from here, from views, I will go to the product folder. And here at the bottom, you will see we have product template simple and product template group. So in this example, we will make a new template, which looks like a simple product template with some customization. So I'm simply going to right click, copy, and I'm going to paste it right here. Okay, so now we have a copy of the simple template and I'm going to rename it. Okay, let's run the code. Okay, so now our site is up. Now let's go to the administration section in the dashboard and let's go to system and templates. This is the area where you basically manage all the templates. So here if you scroll down like this, at the bottom you'll see product templates and as we discussed before, this section is showing our two default uh, templates which is simple product and group products. And before adding, let me just show you how it looks like for a product. If we pick any product, let's pick the shoes. So this product is currently using a simple product template. It's product type simple, simple, and by default, we are not getting the template option here because we do not have any additional template defined right now. I'll go back to Again, system, templates, and if you scroll down, I'll go right here, product templates. So recently what we have done is we, as you know, in Visual Studio, in the code files, we have added a new template. So I will name this new template as, let's say, custom template or custom product, let's say. Okay, 
and view path. View path is the name of the new template file that we just created. So what we named it as product template dot custom and display order is simply how you'd like to display it. In this case, let's add it as 11 right after our default simple template. Ignore product type. You can technically leave this option as blank because it's not a required field. But what it's doing is when we are creating or using a simple product type, we want to ignore the group product type basically so that you are not getting confused and displaying wrong product under wrong category in product type. So in this case, we will follow the same. We would like to ignore the product type, which is the ID 10 for the group products. And I'm going to add this. And you can see now that we have two different kinds of simple product because we know that our custom is simply a copy. And now that we know that our uh, code file exists already that we have created a copy, I will go here and refresh the page. Okay, so now as you can see, now we have a custom template. Now our product templates was displayed. And you can see here it's showing simple product or custom. Custom product is the one that we just recently added. So if I pick this option and save and continue. Okay. So this is the product is shoe. I'm going to go to the public store and pick this product. So what we'll do is now is the time we, you can actually make some changes. Now you know that your new template is working correctly. So I'm just going to open these things side by side so you can see and follow along all the changes. So as you can see, I've opened this file and I'm going in this, let's say we would like to make some changes in the title, how the title looks like. So right now, this is the default. So let's add some style. There are different ways you can add some style. In this case, I'm adding the style directly to the product file, product template file. Okay, so I will add, let's say, border style, dashed, So let's save this one time and okay. So you can see now that our product is using our custom template, we can add customization to the new template for the product. So let's continue making some changes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add voter, voter one, PX solid. black border radius let's refresh it let's save and refresh okay so we are making changes everything is working good and I'm just going to add some padding And let's add some background color as well. Let's add like grayish color here. And yep, I think that should be it. So let's save it and right there. So again, this template defines how your elements look like on the web page. So here I've defined that the title should be styled like this, which is why we are seeing all this customization. I can make some changes in the short description as well. Right here, you know, if I can do something like say and if I refresh it right there. It just added the customization here. I'm just going to remove it for now. 
and you can see you can add, go to any element how you would like to display it you can make some changes as per your requirement if i refresh it and what you can do is you can simply apply your custom product template to any product on your now commerce site so if i go to product catalog open any product for an instance let's pick this speaker and i will go and i can use my custom product for any product on the knob commerce site so this is how you can add a new product template on a knob commerce site now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video hope this was helpful this video is brought to you by knob commerce open source shopping cart thank you Thank you.